Okay, let's try this again. Now that time I wasn't even touching anything. Let's try it again. It's weird how I can't recreate it now. God fucking damn it, how did I mess that up? I even saw it there. At least the watermelon-sized mosquito didn't kill me instantly like last time, where it wouldn't let go of me and kept dealing damage in rapid succession, draining my life bar instantly. Okay, nothing back there. It literally looks like casting the spell at these lava snails is fighting fire with fire. Well, there's water down there. Why not just pick them up with Wingardium Leviosa and throw them down in the water? Well, hey, this isn't a bad view. I didn't even know Hogwarts had any waterfalls nearby. Does nobody come out this way just to relax on a Sunday afternoon? Fuck, I see that mosquito thing up ahead again. Jesus Christ, I thought I was going to miss again. This cave is going to be another maze, isn't it? I hate mazes. It kills me inside if I feel like I'm going to miss a section with something valuable in it, or get lost, or run around in circles not able to identify which walls I've already walked past because of the walls, they just look too similar to each other. Yeah, I don't know why I thought anything of interest would be behind that wall or on top of that rock. I'm embarrassed to admit it. Maybe a few of you saw me do weird things earlier, but occasionally I mix up which mouse button. Oh shit. There's some nice views near Haggard's cabin. But yeah, sometimes I mix up which mouse button jumps and which mouse button activates the wand. And I'm not sure how I keep making that mistake. It's annoying, but this time it's inexcusable on my part. Now see, this is what I hate. Two doors, I'll have to remember to come back later to explore. The other side later. Okay, never mind, I don't have a choice yet. Seriously, these don't do anything? Oh, now I found another door. I'm still not sure what fire seeds even look like. I guess I'll know it when I see it. I can't even remember if Hagrid described to me what they looked like or not. Surely he doesn't expect me to already know what they are. Uh, ugh, oh good, I came around full circle. Just need to go straight then. But Hagrid picked me up from the Dursleys himself and discovered that I didn't know shit about anything related to the wizarding world. And he's just sending me off to look for items that potentially sound like they could be dangerous. I know I don't need the frog, but if I grab it, then it shuts up. This doesn't do anything either? Wow, that's weird. <laughs> it can pivot on it like it's a spinning record. Almost. Another tree stump that I can knock down? God, I fucking hate this mouse control sometimes. It can be so awkward. I haven't played the Chamber of Secrets game yet, but I really hope that the mouse control in the sequel game feels more like it did in Prisoner of Azkaban than this game. Okay. Running jump. And now Harry's all wet. Good job, Hagrid. Hope the fire seeds will be okay if I have to come back this way. 
Which I couldn't do anyways, I can't turn around and jump up that far. Um... Oh, how fucking stupid am I? I just cast these boulders out of the way too. Why did I think I could jump over them? Ah, oh, there we go. That must be a fire seed plant. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. You know, I almost forgot that Harry wasn't actually mute in this game. Forgot he could talk. God damn it, how do I pick them up then? Wait for them to cool off? Yeah, I guess I'll just leave them behind and go do something else then. And it's still bugging me. Why was that tree trunk in the last cave anyways? I doubt even trees assisted by magic can grow up in solid rock instead of soil. Even if it wasn't a trunk and it was just a slice of wood, I still don't see what the purpose is. The barrels made some sense as decorative props, but a large circular piece of wood on the floor of a cave? Wait, I just said earlier that I was surprised Harry isn't mute because he just talked in the game when he encountered the fireseed plant. Which, I suppose I better check on again. But I also remember just now, I ranted earlier about how he shouts his incantations needlessly loud. How fucking stupid am I? This is horseshit. I hate how my brain only recognizes some stupid idea after I've spoken it out loud. So I cast a spell at the blue mosquito, hit it, but then it bumps into me again anyways without taking damage, of course. Oh, fuck it, who cares. Too bad I can't climb out of the cave that way. Oh, I remember this area. You know what else I remembered? I was roommates with this guy in my sophomore year of college, and he was my best friend on campus and all that, but one time he said to me that early on he thought I was mute or something because I'm usually introverted and quiet in real life and don't have much to say. Kind of like right now when I should be pointing things out in the game. It looks like the fire seeds are cooled down enough to safely pick them up when the orange particle effect disappears. So I didn't even need to run away the first time, but anyways, th that never made any sense to me what he said, because the first time we ever met, I approached him to ask him a question about something, so I have no idea why he would have ever thought that I was mute. Quiet, sure, but not mute. That's kind of like what I did just now, being surprised that Harry wasn't mute, even though I complained repeatedly about him shouting his incantations so loudly. What the fuck is that noise? I might as well get the chest really quick while the seeds cool down. It's fucking scary, like it's a massive monster. Or Mrs. Norris coughing up a hairball. Oh, and that question I asked my friend before I even got to really know him? <laughs> he was sitting in our English 101 class in front of me, and he had his laptop open, since you're allowed to take notes on a laptop in some college classes, if not most of them, I guess. I don't know, that was never a habit of mine, but he wasn't taking notes, he was playing a Nintendo 64 emulator instead, with the sound off, of course. Did the boulder disappear? Oh, that's where that noise was coming from. Just another fire-shitting turtle. I love when the climbing animation gets glitched like that. Oh shit, run. Wait, now that I think about it, these plants sound 
more similar to the noise I heard earlier. Anyways, I won't go on about it, but the actual question I had for my friend had something to do with the program's compatibility on Windows 7, since I was having issues at the time, which I don't think I ever figured out either. He just refused to run on my own laptop back then. So, yeah, irrelevant story, but whatever. No, I was fucking here already. Uh, no thanks. What's the point of this doorway? Just a trap for the occasional player that runs without looking where they're going? These hentai monsters are no match for me and my vaginal looking spell. Yeah, that wasn't funny at all. I'm surprised there's nothing there. Would have been a great place to put a chest full of more beans. Grand total of three or so. They really do sound like they're trying to cough up something. If they're oversized Venus flytraps and they ate one of those blue mosquito pixie things, then I can see how that might get lodged in their throats. I wonder if a bit of WT-40 on their jaws would poison them. Now that I'm looking at these things, they... I have a second set of teeth at the base of the plants, I guess. Sur sure looks like it. I understand everything now. These things lashing out aren't trying to harm me, they're just massive snakes that are being clamped down on by the plant trying to desperately break free. I don't know why I think a random barrel will react any differently when I point my wand at it. I should know better by now. But I can't help it, it looks like it should do something. Nice. It's like the ceiling is dropping a massive log of shit into the toilet water. Those fire snails look like they're having fun, trying to set up an orange Tron track or something. I'll let those cool off for a minute. Whoever left these chests out here is going to be very disappointed when they come back and find out that their beans are gone. They might as well have just gone through with the effort of dragging a heavy metal chest out to the middle of nowhere just to hide one or two nuts, or knuts, however you pronounce it. It'd be worth about the same. How does Harry catch himself on the edge of a massive rock while holding his wand in one hand? That's got to be real difficult. Okay, your race is delayed. Yellow flag for a couple of spin-outs and leaking flaming oil on the track. How the fuck did that turtle get here anyways? I guess it's just gonna drown now. Oh well. I hope Hagrid wasn't keeping it there for some reason. He might be sad when he goes looking for it later. And why would these things want to be in a cave system full of water? It's like finding a fire Pokemon living behind a waterfall. It's interesting that gears are a thing in the wizarding world. You'd think the doors would just defy gravity and lift up on their own instead of needing gears and maybe even a pulley with a weight on the other end. Imagine if this thing could talk. It'd be like the burning bush, but it would probably do nothing but talk shit and scream for a moment after extinguishing it. Let's see if the boulder actually disappears again. Yeah, it did. I guess I'm not supposed to jump down there, especially when there's a newly accessible doorway in front of me, though. Oh, thank fuck, I'm finally out of here.
wait a minute, you sent me off on this errand because you needed to watch the egg and you're just standing out here staring at the grass? Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Here's a wizard card for you from my own collection. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. You have a dog that lives with you and you're worried about people tracking mud inside? Alright, cool. Got another card. Let's see here. <laughs> Seriously? You can't walk upstairs now? Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. Now, there comes a point where one overuses references to shit too many times. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. But what else could the textured surface of this egg look like? I'll call him Norbert. Um, I think he might be in pain from being directly in contact with the flames right now. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. You didn't even touch it, let alone pick it up. Slytherin's a tough team, but you'll show him, eh? Hmm, we better give Norbert his first feed soon. He looks traumatized. Oh yeah, the Quidditch game I suddenly have to play with virtually no warning. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Slytherin! Why did he run out into the field separate from everyone else? Where's his broomstick? The Quidditch fish has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Jordan, no favoritism. Sorry, Miss. It's nice that the game referenced the bias that Lee Jordan often has in his commentary, but I wish they did more with it for some comedic effect. I don't think the movies even borrowed that element of Hogwarts Quidditch games from the book, not even once. Up. <laughs> and they're off. Let's play Quidditch! A glint of gold? Is that the snitch? So the game has just started and right off the bat we're chasing the snitch. It's like they released it right in front of Harry's face just before he took off on his broom. Come on, Harry! Um, sorry, Professor. Wait, what do I do here? Shit, I lost it. Here comes the Slytherin Seeker. Whoa, what? What the fuck is the Slytherin Seeker doing holding on to his broomstick like that? How is he supposed to catch the snitch? Well, I guess he can still hold on with one hand, but fuck. I've never seen such flying. Yeah, no kidding. Potter's gaining. What oh shit. Whoa, I got it. Potter breaks it home for Gryffindor. Potter's done it. <laughs> Did he just fucking crash into the bleachers? It's great. Well, no wonder I could follow it around so easily. The golden snitch is the size of a large tit. Why is everyone still flying around? What are they doing? Harry Potter, the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, had won the Quidditch match. 